60 years ago today, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. It was the story that shocked the nation. Dallas news anchor Bill Mercer was one of the people who covered the aftermath. He is now 97 and featured in a new documentary. And by the way, he's a native of Muskogee, Oklahoma. Bill Mercer is joining us this morning. Thanks for being here. Great to see you. And enjoy being with you. Bill, talk to us a little bit about that day. What are some of your remembrances? Well, I uh, I was doing a new newscast on TV that day, a 15-minute newscast. And then I came over to the newsroom and everybody was crying and yelling. They hadn't told me that he'd been shot. The rest of the afternoon, I spent answering the phones in the newsroom. That night, when all the outside reporters came in, my news uh, director, Eddie Parker, sent me over to the police station on the third floor, and that's when the first time we ever broadcast news live. So I spent the rest of the night interviewing everybody I knew and didn't know, and uh, then at 1 o'clock in the morning, they decided, the police decided to have a press conference, which nobody would ever think of today with an expected murderer. So the press conference didn't go very well and uh, he was they were going to pull him out there were 200 reporters there all yelling at once so i was standing right underneath him with my uh, microphone and the camera on me and behind me and he was asked by a reporter next to me have you been charged with anything and he said no i have not been charged with anything and i said because i had already been told upstairs that he had I said, yes, you've been charged with the murder of the president. And uh, the, his face just dropped. And I, he said, what? I said, you have been charged with the murder of the president. Bill, we have that clip I want to play so that you've set it up beautifully as you are speaking to Lee Harvey Oswald. Let's take a listen. You have been. Nobody said what? Sir? You have been. Nobody said what? Okay, we can't. That was Oswald. Lee Oswald, who was charged with the murder of the President of the United States, he's being taken back upstairs. Yeah, you were broadcasting live at the time. Did you realize the significance of what was happening that day? Well, yeah, I realized the, the significance of it. I didn't realize, <coughs> excuse me, that I was the only one down there who knew that he had been charged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to talk about Muskogee because while you have had a illustrious career, which we will have to do for another segment, you did grow up in Muskogee, Oklahoma, went to NSU, got married here. What are your remembrances of Muskogee? It was a great little town back 35,000 back then when I was a kid and really loved it. Muskogee Central High was uh, the high school uh, just off downtown and uh it was just a great place to grow up and uh then in 1943 i graduated and uh, decided uh, i better go up to navy even though i was 17. Mm. so that, so i left muskogee but i did come back later in 1950 and that's where i started broadcasting sports and you got married as well to eileen who is from stigler america yeah. <laughs> yes, she's just, we met at uh, Northeastern and got married the year she graduated, and I still had another year to go. Bill, uh, I, have a, I have about a minute left, but I want to get some highlights in because you have had this incredible career, and at the age of 97, I mean, what are some of the things you're most proud of in your broadcasting career? All the radio that you've done from Muskogee Rougher Days all the way to the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, golly. I guess the Ice Bowl will be my legend of uh, football games to do. Uh, I did an, uh, the, the Texas Rangers, I did their first, uh, 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 I'm trying to think of a no hit game. And uh, I guess that's about it. You know, it just you just do games and you don't think about how 
important they'll be someday. And it's so cool to think that so many of them still live, especially now with the way technology is, with the audio that's available out there on YouTube. I've got a million more questions that I'm going to ask you about off camera, and we're going to run those later, but I want to thank you so much. And you can see Bill prominently featured in this new JFK documentary on National Geographic. Great to visit with you, Bill. You're always being Okie from Muskogee. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Ha, ha, ha.